Sitting very high up there. Guys, it's uh, sorry. I just repeat your message. I couldn't quite copy what you said there. Guys, it's uh, sorry. We're just struggling, struggling a little with comms here. I think it might be a bit too much zoomed to use this, but I'll try. We're still getting used to the stick again. Let's see. Yeah. Zoom out, and then you can find it. Yeah. Okay, there he is. You see him all spread out. Now it's difficult to realize the size of it because he's way up in the tree there. He's probably a good six meters, eight meters off the road. But um, it's a very large rock monitor lizard. Probably be about five feet long. <laughs> and he's becoming very popular. I see there's another game not just joining us. A little BDI just watching us. Now like I said, a lot of your reptiles in general tend to become very active this time of year, sort of late summer, early autumn, even late into autumn as well. Just because it's a very good time to get themselves nice and full for the winter. Let's just go a bit forward there. So what this guy is doing at the moment is just getting some nice sunlight, warming up a little bit. Also looks like he's quite full. It might even part of the, the reason he's just lying up there is maybe he ate something big earlier. These guys are very varied in their diet. They'll scavenge if they can. They'll catch little things. They'll eat a lot of eggs as well. They're one of the main things that um, eat crocodile eggs, for instance. And then they'll also catch little things if they come across whatever they can get their, their mouths on, really. So great variety of things that they, they feed on. Beautiful markings. Well, it looks like it probably shed as well recently, maybe last couple of weeks. Reptiles like snakes as well, or, or sorry, monitor lizards like uh, like snakes do as well. They shed their skins when they get bigger and bigger. Obviously, towards the end of summer, summertime would have been a pretty good summer for rep for for reptiles in the sky. Earlier in summertime, when we had all that rain, I think the last couple of months have probably been a little bit tougher. Oh, that is a very big one. You get the two monitor species out here. You get the, the rock monitor, the one that we're looking at now. And then you also get the, the water monitor or the null monitor. They tend to be a little bit longer sometimes, the water monitors, sl slightly more slender. Rock monitors are a bit more stocky. And even though they're called rock monitor lizards, there's not a lot of rocks around here as you've probably seen over the time we've been on drive. But uh, they're very, very agile up in the trees as well. Gonna move on a little bit, so I think Charles and them also moving now. But look at that belly. Sorry, I'm sort of indecisive. There's a lot going on around. There's a couple of cars on the radio, but look at that belly. You can see nice and full. Obviously, splayed out over the branch as well. But I think part of the reason this monitor lizard is just taking it easy up there is that it probably managed to get a nice full stomach from uh, from something it ate recently. Very cool. Look at those big nails as well. You can see the left. Oh, there you can actually see the back feet. This 
one got some of them damaged. Look at two of the toes look like they're missing. Maybe from a fight or something, or maybe something tackled it. Obviously, they also get preyed on by certain things. Monitor this size. <laughs> so probably the odd leopard you'll find might go for them. Um, young lions might be curious about them, but they can be quite vicious. They can bite, obviously, very sore. Also, that tail they use like a whip, so they can uh, chase away things as well. This might have been from a fight with another monitor lizard. Just look at the front foot as well quickly. I saw one of the front feet. A little bit in the open there. You can just see curved around the branch. The, his left foot there. Look at those nails. Very big and heavy. Perfectly adapted for digging. They also dig out a lot of things. Like I said earlier, crocodile eggs for instance. Other reptile eggs. Um, and they'll also dig out little um, mice or rodents or reptiles underground when they're eating. So uh, nice heavy digging claws. Look at that. And of course that's also what helps them grip and grasp onto branches as they climb up. And this one certainly needed that hold as he climbed up here. You'll see just now as Alex comes out a bit, you'll see he's right up in a leadwood tree there. Looks a little bit like a very ancient reptilian form of a leopard. More often that we look at leopard sort of splayed out over the branches like that or draped over the branches. Right way up in the tree. 